It was called a startling move by Toronto Police, the release of a photo of a dead man. We'll hear inside police headquarters today. Toronto Police have confirmed they've ID'd the man in that photo. He is Karushna Kumar Kanagaratnam. Police confirmed that MacArthur is now facing an eighth first degree murder charge for the killing of the 37 year old. Police say he came to Canada from Sri Lanka and lived in Scarborough. They believe he came to Canada sometime in 2010 and they believe he was killed in December of 2015. Though they also add that he was never reported missing. Now he also doesn't fit the profile of the other victims. Homicide don't believe he was part of Toronto's LGBTQ community and he also didn't frequent the shelter system like another alleged victim, Dean Lissowick and homicide detectives admitting that this changes the complete complexion of their investigation. What does that mean for your investigation then? You know, you've, you've got members of the LGBTQ community involved in this. We have people uh, who frequented the shelters involved and now a completely different individual. How, how much larger of a net now does your investigation need to, need to toss over this? Well, we're, we're still working through any outstanding missing persons occurrence in Toronto. We're still working through uh, quite a few cold cases, uh, murder cases from Toronto. But obviously, you're right, this, this does create basically a wide open net. Canna Gratnam's remains were removed from the planters on Mallory Crescent, though police are still searching for the remains of Majid Cahan. Those have yet to be identified. Stay right here with City News for more on this developing story.